Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to our Wow Wednesday testimonial call. Um, the purpose of this call is for those of you that are interested to, or those of you that are QLAs, to bring your interested ones onto the call so that they can learn about our technology, they can learn uh, about the different products that we have. Um, and then if they're interested in learning more, then we expect that if somebody invited you to this call to please follow up with that person that invited you here. Uh, our our uh, technology, as my disclaimer states, is not a medical device. It is not meant to treat, cure, or mitigate any type of disease or any of the products that we have. Um, none of the statements that we share here are uh, evaluated by the FDA. And if you are sick, please reach out to your healthcare provider and get with them. Um, Dr. Sheila, would you like to say anything? I would like to say good evening, everyone. We are so grateful that you are here taking time out of your busy schedules because we want to hear from you. We learn something every single week from you. We're starting year two. <laughs> we are. This is so exciting. It is so very exciting. And, and we couldn't do this call without each and every one of you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. All right. I am going to take the screen away so we can highlight uh, everybody that is on the call. Uh, so anything that you see on the screen, and there's probably some things on there that I don't even have. I don't have the mat on there because it just couldn't get it to fit, but I'll redo a graphic. But anything that our company does, you're welcome to share a testimonial on. So please just unmute yourself and share whatever testimonial you may have. And those of us that are on the call, we're probably going to learn something from you. So please just unmute and share. So without further further ado, does anybody like to share anything? I'll share one. I have uh, been battling uh, sciatic nerve pain this week. And uh, it, you know, I thought that maybe I could just you know, rest a little bit or whatever, and it go away. Uh, but I uh, decided to get the uh, scanner out and do the uh, uh, sciatica nerve uh, frequency and just continuous ran it, and then it just uh, disappeared. So uh, very thankful for that. <laughs> I am. It is awesome. He gets kind of grouchy when his sciatic is not not very happy so <laughs> well that's uncomfortable <laughs> it is it is very uncomfortable very uncomfortable anybody else like to share anything i would Let's um Debbie. i'm this is my first call as part of oh. the agape team um i signed up under david um debbie griffiths um, I have been battling leaky gut since I had an undiagnosed case of C. diff for almost a year. And um, the other day, well, it's probably three days ago now, I went under homeopathics and selected leaky gut. I forgot I had it on. And I left it on for three days. And um, I have felt so much better. My, you know, I don't want to give TMI, but um, my uh, bowel movements have been solid for three days in a row instead of, you know, terrible diarrhea. So I guess, you know, when I found it on, I thought, oh my gosh, I've left this on for three days, but I guess it was a good thing. So um, it it really did make me feel better. So my question to everybody is how long can you leave these frequencies on just, you know, by accident or on purpose? There's really no problem with you leaving it on because your body's only going to use what it needs. So the rest of it just bypasses you. It's energetic me medicine, so to speak. So whatever, it's just like homeopathy. You can take an entire case of homeopathy you, you know might pass out from all the sugar pellets but 
it's not going to do any harm. And remember, you have frequencies coming at you all day from everywhere. So it's really no different. You're just directing the frequencies that are coming at you. Right. And Tammy, you mentioned that you had um, you were doing bioplasma. Mm -hmm. I have the homeopathics, but I've not been able to find that on the scanner in one piece. How are you um, doing that? Okay, while somebody shares another testimonial, I'll share my screen and I'll show you what I did. Uh, or if somebody wants to, to say a testimonial, they're more than welcome to. Um, but what I did was I went into my Cephi playlist and you have all of the self salts in your, your um, homeopathic list. So what I did was I just created a playlist with all 12 cell salts in there. So when you go to your custom playlist, and it takes a minute for mine to load up, and you go down here to Bioplasma, you'll see that they're all listed here. Um, some people, and I, I think I, yeah, they're all listed in here. So then what I do is I set it up, and I will do a continuous broadcast and I just turn my scanner down on on no volume and I just let it run throughout the night. And that is one since we're talking about it, that has been my testimonial uh, for the last uh, couple of days, because I'm sure a lot of people saw my post of New Year's Eve. I was struggling that day. I had so much pain, but I think there were some emo emotions that were attached as well because I, I had just capped out. I was done, I was frustrated, I didn't wanna deal with this anymore, I was having trouble eating. So there was a lot involved. Um, but I woke up the next day and I had this renewed faith. I was like, I can do this, by gosh, I can do this. But if it hadn't been for a really dear friend of mine who texted me that her husband is an oral surgeon and she ha happens to be our upline, she said, Tammy, it's gonna take you a good four months with, with bone grafts to heal and i went oh well i you know if my dentist told me that it did not register because <laughs> in my mind i'm thinking i heal very quickly or i tend to and this is just taking way too long you know but after talking with her she let me know you know you had something very serious go on and a very, very uh, involved surgery because I had two bone grafts, not just one. And that tooth that was removed was a, it was a large molar and it had deep, deep roots. So, and then on top of having all the TMJ that I did not even know I had, I had all those issues too. So it, for me that I was just getting frustrated. I was just, I was just, I'm done. <laughs> I'm ready to be over this. But I just ran that, I've been running the bioplasma on it. And then I've also been holding methylene blue with a little bit of um, water mixture in my mouth and just holding it in there. And I think that that's also helping. So there, I, something is shifting and it is, it's things are getting better, but I'm still having quite a bit on this side and my ear is involved too. So I'm, I'm working on that as well. Any other questions or any other testimonials? When did you send it? Okay. Go right ahead, Carolyn. Okay, well, my, my dog is barking, so I hope she's not being okay. too much. But anyway, um, so I typed in, I have, um, I've been diagnosed with IBS also, whatever you want to call it, leaky gut, whatever. But um, so I was really having a bad time a couple of days ago and I went to the homeopathics and then I would, I would see what, which ones were in there and then I would run them. And then as it was running, I would test, I would muscle test. Is this good for me? Because That's otherwise, I mean, sometimes they don't, they don't, you know, they don't resonate with everybody. So a friend told me about that. So it wasn't my idea. And she does it all the time. It's like, oh my gosh, that's brilliant. So nice. Very good. Thank you for sharing. That's a great way too to find out if, yeah, if it's actually working for you. So 
anybody else like to share anything? Just unmute. I'm wondering if anybody might be able to share some testimonials of the um, little red light therapy uh, device. Any, if anyone has one, if they have anything they could share uh, that's helped them. I think a lot of us on this call have several. So anybody want to share anything with their thought? Dave's got one on. I got one on right now, as a matter of fact. So I try to use it every day. 45 minutes is the cycle. Some people use it once on their left arm and once on the right arm. I tend to rotate it so it's personal preference. Uh, a lot of people take the methylene blue and then put the red light on. It seems to help out with everything. I, I am feeling less brain fog when I wear this, and it seems to have an effect for two to four hours afterwards. Now, remember, it's just like frequency, so everybody's gonna, results are going to vary. So... Um, yeah, I mean, there's other people that put it for their neck when they have some neck pain that helps to increase the blood flow and circulation throughout your body. So um, if I had skinnier legs, I would probably put it around my leg because sometimes my knees hurt or my ankle hurts. But sometimes I just hold it in place there, too. Some people use a scarf for an ace bandage and wrap it around their leg or thigh or wherever it needs to be, lower back, whatever it is. It's all going to work. Other than that, anybody else have anything? I did something, Debbie, um, because Vicki, Vicki, I think, is on the call, or she was. Maybe she had to jump off. No, there, she's still there. She asked if anybody had done the red band uh, prior to doing the red light on the arm and the doing your methylene blue and your pulse, if you took your blood pressure prior and your pulse ox on your finger. Well, I did that. Um, and my blood pressure was, my blood pressure usually runs pretty good. But I think at that time it was like 127 over 72. And then, so then I took my, my stuff, I wore my red light um, and I did it on both arms. And then I waited probably, I don't know, probably 10 minutes or so after doing that, after I was completely done with my cycles of wearing it on both wrists, and then I took my blood pressure again, my blood pressure had significantly made a change for even better. I mean, I think it went, ended up being 120 over 70 after that. So, and I put, I put that in my group. I actually took pictures and I wrote up a little post on that, but it is incredible, this stuff. And I have, I typically suffer with some knee pain on my right knee and i will apply it to my knee whenever i'm having issues with that and it it tends to help with the pain when i was having this done i constantly carried that little red light with me and i just held it on my cheek the entire time um, and i do believe that that kind of helped with the pain uh, after the surgery because I, I really didn't have, the first two days after the surgery, I didn't have any issues at all. No pain, no problems. I didn't even have to take any pain medication. It wasn't until the third day, something shifted. And we believe it was because I didn't wear my denture at night. And then that TMJ joint collapsed. And then I was in for it. I had tons of inflammation, pain, and I could not seem to get out of it. So um, I still use the red light on it, and it did seem to kind of help a little bit. But at that point, I'd already went really far into something that I didn't realize I was having an issue with. So anybody else like to share about the red light? Tammy, it's Vicki. Hi, Vicki. Hey. Um, first thing I do in the morning when I wake up is I take my blood pressure. It's the, the cuffs right here at the, at the nightstand. And um, then I do my, my um, um, not prime, what do you call it? Um, Methylene blue? No, the other one. Pulse? Pulse, thank you. I had a brain fog there. That's um, okay. I do, the, I do the pulse. And then I wait 15 minutes and I take my blood pressure again. And I've been doing it now for about two and a half weeks. 
I'm seeing between 10 and 12% significant drop. And I can verify it just like you're doing. You're writing it down. You're taking pictures of it. So I'm demonstrating that to people that come into my office. And, um, you know, I'm demonstrating the pulse with them. Take their blood pressure, give them, watch them turn red and flush and itch. And, ooh, I don't, some people like it. Some people don't. I'm it. addicted. I'm addicted to that feeling. I love it. And um, then we do their blood pressure again. And it proves it to them because it's their blood pressure, not mine. Yep. Awesome, Vicki. Thank you. I think that's an incredible way to share it. If you're, you know, if you have an office and you see people all the time, I'm remote, so I don't get to see them in person, but but that's incredible. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, no problem. I get, you know, people come into my office all the time. I'm, you know, I'm the commercial director of the real estate office. So they've always got a problem. They've always got a question. Well, if they want my help, they have to be my guinea pig for 15 minutes. I love that. I love that. It's the boss here, Tammy. Hey, Surf, it's loud. Hey. Surf it's loud here at the gym, but uh, I got this red light uh, 660 band on here at the gym, and I've been suffering from a little bit of golfer's elbow on actually both elbows. So when I'm working out and I'm doing um, each uh, arm uh, separately, I switch the band and I get a little less pain in the elbow so I can push it a little bit further. But uh I can't wait for that uh, terahertz one to arrive so I can <laughs> kick this golfer's thing in the butt, but uh, while I uh, strengthen up the, the forearm at the same time. Sweet. Thank you. Anybody else have a red light testimonial that they'd like to share? Red light therapy is amazing, Debbie. It really is. It is. I've got an injury on my hand that's been crushed years ago and it started acting up and I wasn't realizing I hadn't been wearing the band on that side because I normally wear it on the way to the gym, on the way home from the gym and sometimes in the middle of the day. But I also have this whoop strap that I love because it monitors everything about my recovery, strain, sleep, everything. So it helps me know what I need to be doing to support myself. And this wrist had been hurting so bad. Uh, because I was wearing this over there. So I was putting the red light on the other side. <laughs> and after about two weeks, I was like, what is going on? And I decided, aha. Uh -huh. So I started putting the red light back on this side and the pain is gone. Um, I still believe my body can, I still believe that the, it can heal all this. I just haven't figured out how, but I know I do need the red light to keep that pain down because it's a booger. Yep. I'll jump on and say, I don't know if anybody saw that I raise dogs, um, but I had Yorkie puppies and um, there were times that they their energy would be super low. Um, and I actually posted on the Solex website and maybe on some other, or on their page, Facebook page, and I think maybe on yours, Tammy, but I use the red light therapy for the Yorkie puppies it gave them so much more energy and it made them more alert when um, they were actively eating when they were supposed to be. And that would like, I don't, just warming them up obviously because puppies don't eat if they're too cold. Um, but I would come out and they would just act not lethargic, but they were just a little bit slower. And I'd put that red light on them and all of a sudden it was like zoomies happened and then, okay, now I can eat. Um, so, I use on puppies a, yeah, it's a game changer. I mean, I use it on myself all the time too, but so if I'm the animal person, crazy lady here. Thank you, Tony, for sharing. <laughs> Anybody else like to share anything about anything else? You got any testimonials about anything? Hey, Miss Tammy, everybody. Hey, Araya. Good evening. Hey. I want to share that my cousin came from out of town this past weekend. And they, I had visited them, you know, about a year ago and I had my, my tools with me and he had very, a lot of discomfort from what he calls Arthur, arthritis. And so he had some other issues that were on his, like his calf. So I took the 660 band, 
folded up a scarf, like a little bandana, and then tied it on his calf. And he was very happy with that in in less than, I'd say 10, 15, definitely less than 15 minutes. He was all moving that 660 band other places for that to relieve the discomfort from different areas. So that was really nice from somebody who had absolutely no idea to have that kind of response and be able to see such a significant difference in that amount of time. Wow. <laughs> wow. That wow, is awesome. Wow. <laughs> there, there you go, Debbie. That's when the proof is there when somebody doesn't know anything about frequencies or red light or anything and you hand it to them and, and look, wait, let me put that here. Let me put that here. <laughs> Because you will, you'll see people start moving it in different areas. I know I've been with some friends or family and I'll go, here, you got pain somewhere? Try this. And they will. And it's like, it goes away and they're like, wait a minute. Is it that easy? You know, yeah. it, it really is effective. Yeah. Same thing with the wand also. So he got a little tired doing the wand on his hip area. And so I said, well, here, I'll sit on the other side of you and do the other side for you. So I sat on the other side of him and did that for him. And then he was like all on the toes with that in goal. And this is why he had the band on also. So, you know, he was asking, where do I get this? And et cetera. So layering things and, and doing different things so they can see it's not necessarily in their mind type thing. So it was a very uh, wonderful experience for him to have that discomfort go away and to have that relief for a while. Yeah. And I, I just saw on Facebook today, uh, just a little bit ago, there was somebody, pub, or they had published a post, first wearable red light therapy band or something. And I, I went ahead and looked at it. I thought, okay, that's curious. So I want to look at it. And I looked at the link, $370 for their red light band. Ours Good is grief. 150 bucks. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> And they're claiming that they're the first one that came out. And I don't know. There's probably been others out there. But uh, for $150, it is a beautiful week. I'm going to probably order some more. But we finally have two in our household. And they get used all the time. So. And Tammy, they don't have the 605 frequency in their band. They only have the yeah. 660. Oh, see, and I didn't look at all that. But yeah, I thought $370. Come on now. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen him for more than that. I've, I have someone that I'm doing some stuff with and he was like, oh, my doctor was showing me this. I'm like, well, if, you know, if you're comfortable with your doctor and I'm usually pretty good at keeping somewhat of a poker face. But when he pulled up that website and showed me the price on that, I was like, wow, it was like it, like, it was like almost a thousand bucks. Ooh, wow. wow. So I was like, well, you know, if you're happy with him and, you know, so he was like, Yours is not that much. I'm like, yeah, well, you might want to, you know, do your do your due diligence and you know, look around. Yeah. Sandy, go right ahead, hun. I saw you yeah. waving. Yeah, I was I was gonna switch to one, um, a different testimony, but um, you know, I've used a lot of uh bot flower remedies um for a lot of years in my practice and um and and then added some other things as we went along, but I was not very um familiar with the Australian bush flowers a little bit there were a few I knew about but not many but since they added that to the scanner I've noticed that they're coming up a lot for me and they're very accurate um uh, so that was pretty crazy so I don't know if it was Tammy somebody mentioned the book um Australian bush flower essences and so I ordered it and it's it's been wonderful I mean I just would say if you haven't looked at um, the flower essences. I like to, I like to every day do a scan on the flowers and then I'll um, imprint my little ring. That's just kind of, that's my thing. I'll, that'll be my flower um, for the day. So I'll imprint that, but mm. um, I'm really loving these and I, I like being able to go a little deeper with the flowers. And so this is a really good reference book. Um, so it's just an added feature that has been really high value for me since they added it. Yes, they they the book. Um, I just got it on Amazon. I'm going to put that in the title in the in the uh, chat. I've got it too. I shared it with with the group. There's also one for animal healing. So I'll okay. put both of those titles yeah. 
in the book. You can't see it because I've got a filter on. So I'll put both yeah. of those titles. One of them is Ian White. And evidently, my Australian team says Ian White is like the know-all, be-all in Australia when it comes to these bush flowers. Um, and then the animal one is by Marie Matthews with uh, Ian White in the introduction. So I'll put both the titles in there for you guys. Anybody else like to share anything? Hello, I will go ahead and share. Love that. Hi, Cynthia. Hello. There we go. I think that. Okay. So mine is back to the topic of 660 van because I've def definitely been loving it. So something else that happened to me was I was having some knee pain because I have arthritis like all over my body and in my bones. And my husband jokingly was like, oh, you're not wearing your band or you didn't put your band on it. I was like, why are you laughing? Let me go ahead and do it. And he was like, but on your knee, is the strap long enough? But I was wearing one of those little onesies at the time. So I kind of, wait, baby. So I just put it right there on my knee and I kind of wrapped it around with the pant leg to hold it in place and before the 40 minutes were even up like my pain was gone and has not come back since wow. so it has been amazing because I because I really need this I deal with circulation issues and blood flow issues and different chronic issues in my body mm. but since I've been using the frequencies and the 660 band the 660 band actually took it to another level for me so now I also need to make sure that I go back and focus on actually using the Cephi and letting those frequencies go in the playlist and of course mindset but yes that is my testimonial about the 660 band oh, wow ah oh, game changer oh, they both they all are everything that we have in this company is definitely a game changer they all have different applications and oh, we just we're so blessed very blessed oh my goodness every day i say it all right. Anybody else like to share anything? Okay, this is me. I'm, I do it while I'm on the stop sign. I just want to know. I just want to let people know. I put my 660 in as one of the therapies, and I did my right wrist and my left wrist, and it does make a difference. And I did five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, forty, one hour, and it's pretty amazing how it will tell which side to go on. They're not always showing the same side or the same amount of time. Thank you, Naraya, for sharing that. I was hoping you would share that. So be creative with your scanner and put them in your supplement list and put different increments of time as well as either right, left, or, you know, whatever, right side of the body, left side of the body. And you may, you may surprise yourself about how you start to feel by using it where your body wants it. All right. Anybody else like to share anything? So I'll share okay. something that you and I talked about before. Okay. And Tammy said she um, had never thought of that. And I told her that Tammy and Becky have both told me you have to think outside the box. Um, so I was discussing with her before. Um, we raise horses, dogs. Um, obviously, we live on a farm. So we have cats and plus us humans. Um, so... Becky and David are Dave are like super awesome about their parasites groups. So um, Tammy and I were talking earlier and I said, I actually made, um, I put my home as the location with my whole entire acreage. And instead of running just parasites on myself or my family, I run it on my whole entire herd of animals and us because I have my whole location, my whole home within that playlist. And Tammy's like, oh my gosh, I never even thought of that. And I'm like, you're the one who tell you and Becky are like, think outside the box all the time. So I get that all done within like, you know, I start a few days before a full moon and then I do it for a few days after. And so I'm parasite detoxing worming whatever you want to call it my whole facility dave well, i knew you'd like that right yeah, shh, don't tell david and becky this because now they're gonna i know be yeah I, I, I get 60 percent. i get 60 percent. you already knew that 
<laughs> That's not oh, right. Anyway, anyway uh, I'm glad to hear that. So <laughs> last night was our last night for running our full moon group, and I ran Parasite 2, which every time I run one of the Parasites, I get an issue, whether it's my right nostril running, an instant headache, my stomach hurts, whatever it is, for some reason. So last night we ran Parasite 2. We were out at the dinner. And as soon as I turned it on, I got an instant headache. And I'm thinking, what did I just do? And then we're driving home and I'm like, oh, snap. I just turned Parasite 2 on till about quarter after nine. As soon as I turned the frequency off, my headache went away in a matter of minutes. So whatever is in there, attacks me in a different way than everybody else so just remember when you're playing frequencies sometimes less is more and more is less so just remember that so i have a question for tony did you say that you you aimed this at your property that you did the parasite cleanse to your property yes wow that's pretty so cool it, so it's over <laughs> I have a lot of animals. So when Tammy and I were talking earlier, she's like, put each animal in. And I'm like, oh, girl, I don't think you understand how long that would take me. Um, so I do it over the whole entire, yes, my land where all my animals and we are and stuff. Um, David, you're so right on that too. Um, I ran some scans on my husband one time and forgot and he was running to the restroom multiple times and he comes out one time and he's like what are you scanning me and what are you playing and i'm like um i don't think so and i come to the scanner i had forgotten and i was doing a nicotine detox was one of them and um yeah he got a good detox that day um <laughs> And he was, I was like, I am so sorry. And he goes, I'm just, I am grateful that I was home because if I was out over the road driving truck, that would have been horrible. And I'm like, I am so sorry. I forgot that I started it before I went outside. So it was playing for a couple hours, <laughs> few hours. It hit him like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I had a, I had a situation where I gave a lady, a, I know this lady, but she's elderly and I gave her a ride. She was in my car for about 20 minutes. Come to find out her house was full of bed bugs. So I was just freaked out because I walked from my car. I walked into my house, took my clothes off, hung them in the closet. Yeah. So I was really freaked out. So I, I did, um, I, I did, I scanned my whole house. I, I ran that for a long, long time. And then I also um, put traps out and then I had Orkin come and it was okay, but it was really scary. And I'm in my car, I put Dimetheus Earth all, all inside my car, but it was okay. I didn't have any problems, but the, it was just an extra little thing to help. Yeah. And so I probably didn't have any anything, but it was just really nice to be able to turn my scanner on. <laughs> Boy, if you ever get mad at your husband, you know what to do. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, don't do that when he's out over the road. <laughs> that works both ways. <laughs> yeah, be careful. Scott's got a scanner, too. <laughs> I was going to say, my husband don't, and he don't know how to operate it hardly. So I'm safe. <laughs> all right, you have him call me. I'll get him on the 411 on how to use it. All right. Yeah. I already converted a few men over to using this thing. Yeah. So we need more men in this community for sure. Deb right. shared with me um, something about pest control in the house. I live in Arizona. And last year, um, we have had terrible scorpions in our house we just moved into this house and you know we don't use any pesticides or anything like that so deb sullivan showed me how to make my house a target mm -hmm. and do all kinds of insect detox and all kinds of other things in here i've only seen one 
scorpion. And normally I would get up every night, I'd go to the bathroom and I'd be like, well, watching the scorpions do their little scorpion dance on my floor as soon as I turn on the light. And I've only seen one so far since I've done that. And I run that 24 seven. So it works. I do that. I do that also with our farm for fleas and everything, because that's huge here in Iowa. So I do that for all of the animals, insects, all that too. I just make my farm the target again. So it does it all. Perfect. You guys are awesome. Thanks for sharing all of this. No kidding. My brain is sitting here trying to take all that in. <laughs> so the boss, the boss is back. Uh, Hi, boss. So I've been having a history of issues with my prostate for a few years now. Um, but recently I just felt like, you know, something was going on. I just felt like it's a little bit inflamed and my scanner has been saying on the PSA that something's going on. And then I inflamed it so much the other day when I ate something I shouldn't have. Um, I guess the bacteria inflamed it too much that it started to bleed. Um, so, um, and definitely um, listening to the scanner and correcting as I go. And I'm uh, waiting for my uh, supplemental um, patent thing to come in. <laughs> Thank you. It's <laughs> awesome. Uh, it is. It is so awesome. All right. Anybody else like to share anything? Hi, guys. It's Tamara. I was waiting on you. <laughs> Hi, I, I'm getting ready for a vendor show this weekend so I had to run to a town half hour away to print a bunch of stuff on FedEx so um, I, I'm much better thanks to all of you I had a little chat with uh, Sheila Tammy inspired me but I am gonna go and I'm gonna do just fine <laughs> you are you're gonna do great <laughs> but besides that I I had two uh one last Friday and one uh, this week uh, experiences with some, a client had brought a friend in who I've done Cephi groups on and she's my one client who's like, I can tell when you turn the Cephis on and I can tell when you shut them off. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I, I know her dearly, but I'm like, you're such a freak. I love you. Um, <laughs> because I got clients who are like, did you, should I, I was in a secure building. I don't think I got them today. I'm like, yes, I'm you did. To <laughs> and, um, so she brought her friend in and I had shared a, a little bit, worked with her. Have, I guess they have. And um, I sure created here. a Cephi dot. Uh -oh. a second. Hang on just a second. Uh, Jody, can okay. you mute? There we go. Okay, go ahead. I got her muted. Okay. So I, I set her up profile, did her scans, set her up with a Cephi dot. Her friend was dealing with some emotional stuff. My friend who brought her in said, um, it's, what can you do for my shoulder? And I said, well, what's going on? I created a Cephi dot for her. I think I put uh, cellular restore pain, put the dot on her. And as, I mean, I didn't even get the sticker on the outside of it. And she's like, oh, it's tingling. I'm like, what? She goes, oh, I feel it. I feel the tingles. I'm like, that's awesome. Put the sticker on, went, uh, grabbed something else, came back. She goes, my shoulder's better. I'm like, I love you. That's awesome. Of course, her friend was like, oh, oh, maybe mine's in the wrong spot because I don't feel anything. And I'm like, let me just explain to you that everybody is different. Hers may have been more surface and yours, we're working with emotions that's, you know, at a deeper level. So there was that experience. So I'm still working with, with her. God bless her soul. Um, and then my sister is going through um, surgery, went through the Mohs surgery today. And for a month, I had been running frequencies um, specifically for the spot on the side of her face in hopes that today would not be so bad, right? Um, well, my mom called me. She's panicking. She literally went, had, they had to go in three times. The circumference wasn't big, but the depth of it was good, uh, deep, and it was right on her temple. So she started... She said she did good the first one. The second one, she got a little anxiety. She played the last playlist, um, her inner voice. And she said that calmed me down. She goes, we got to the third one. They had to come go back in. And she said it was, the room was shrinking. It was shaking. She was just having so much anxiety um, that she told them, I, I, I 
we have to be done. I can't be done. I have to have to leave. So talked to her, talked her off the ledge, did a new inner voice, set up pain because she said I'm in so much pain, um, set up the playlist and talked to her in a, in a half hour. She's like, I'm much calm. And then a half hour later, she says, they got everything. They don't have to go back in. So, so she was like, thank you for your help. But I, you know, it was interesting and, and, and that she felt a difference with going through that anxiety the second time, um, how it calmed her down. But um, so those were my two fun experiences in the last week. Wow. That's incredible. Thank you so much for sharing that. I will tell you that I have worked with clients and, and we, we have a little group where we do CEPIs on people that we, we don't charge or anything, but anytime that someone's going in for surgery or anything like that, we usually run CEPIs on them prior to, during, and after. And man, what a difference that makes in their healing and everything that they're going through, the pain is less, the anxiety is less, everything is a lot less than if they hadn't had the frequencies being broadcasted for them during this time. So what you have in your hands, people, is extremely powerful. So uh, be be sharing it with as many people as you can. Anybody That's else? That's exactly what I was getting ready to say, because some people are saying they're having a hard time sharing. And I'm like, you know, if you could listen to all these testimonies and see the empowerment that this offers people for yeah. everyday things. I mean, yeah. so much power in this little thing for $149 a month. There's so much that people can be doing for themselves and not just themselves, but their neighbors, their family, just like you guys are doing. Yeah. So what if Tammy, everybody what? could do it? I'm sorry. Tell me what, what sequences, what CEPIs do you use for like somebody that's going into surgery? I have a pre-surgery list and I'll go, I'll put those in the group. Okay. Um, I've got a pre-surgery list. I've got a post-surgery list and then whatever they're going through, you would, you know, we have lists for that, you know, so okay. let's say if someone goes in for like a gallbladder removal Hopefully they don't do that, but it, let's say they do. And then we've got sure. something that's for that, that you can actually play a list during that time. But I do have pre-surgery, post-surgery, and I'll put it in the group tonight. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Well, I just started my very first CEFI group. <laughs> it's been a year and a half and I'm just getting on the, on the train, but it's only um, three days in and I'm just shocked the first day I was already hearing feedback and it's like such a blessing. It just, and there again, it's like, look how easy this is. Everybody yeah. can do it. And look what it does for you. Yeah. It's so exciting. It is exciting. It's incredible. Sheila, what topics? Sorry. Sorry. What topics are you doing, Sheila? Mine is becoming a better version of yourself. New year, new you. So what do you cover? I am actually having people do an inner voice every morning. I have uh, several different playlists that I'm sharing each day for two hours and I'll send them a picture of it so that they have it in their mind what's happening. And I think that that's very powerful. Um, and then I give them some inspiration each day um, and some, I've, I built a tracker sheet because Dave had shared him, he and Becky had done that. So I found one that kind of went along with what I want them to do. I've given them some some things that they need to implement into their life to be a better version, be healthier, and then some things that need to go. And I've asked them to, you know, they can select what they'd like to do for three days and give feedback on it and then just keep going. Um, and then I have them do their affirmations. So I, I send a playlist because I had them give me their pain points and what things they would like to be transformed. And then we found affirmations and they can pick and choose, but they pretty much went with what I had. They send me a recorded list and then I put it in there and send it to them and ask them to listen at night. And my plan is to do that a different each week through the four weeks. It's a 33 days because oh, four weeks. Um, science shows that it takes 33 days consistency minimum to change habits. So I'm doing 33 days. Nice. I'm pretty very excited. Nice. Thank you. Yes. Very excited. I'm taking Becky's class on that. It's coming up, but I'm taking that. 
Why is he shaking his head? It's not Becky's class. It's my class. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> all right. I'm all excited. We I am too. I am too because I want left. to do this. We have seven spots left for the February one that I posted about four days I, ago. So I think mine is in January. January 13th. So Okay. Um, let's see. Today I played golf. I get the good life, right? I have an assistance job, so to speak. Um, I'm learning to be a better cook, number one. That's awesome. Uh, we played golf this morning, and after golf, you know, the 19th hole, everybody sits around and has a cocktail and shoots the shit, so to speak. So the two guys that I've been playing with for the last month and a half have just asked me, what kind of job do I really have? <laughs> and I told him the AO scan technology. He was the one guy's uh, friends with me on Facebook. So he wanted to know all about the Cephi groups that I run. I'm like, dude, I don't know how I do it. I don't know why I do it. I mean, I know I love it and I know it helps people, but I can't explain to you how it all officially works. I just know it works from everybody that tells me the testimonials of X, Y, and Z. So I said, I can tell you in August, I quit a full-time job to do the Cephi groups. And that's what I've been doing since August. So can I, do you want a scientific way of how it works? No, but I can give you 17 different testimonies that tells you that I've lost 13 pounds in two weeks. I've, my sugar levels went from X to Z. I'm like, this is something that only costs $150 a month. And he's like, oh, that's only $3 a day. I was like, yeah, but people keep saying that, oh, I can't afford it. I'm like, okay, you have a pack, carton of cigarettes, that's $80. You have a case of beer, that's $30. Right there is 110 bucks. All you got to do is find another $40 somewhere. How about, do you want to live a little bit healthier life? Have a little bit more fun in your life? Feel like you're in your early 30s? Because I don't feel like I'm going to turn 50 this year. I feel like... I'm in my mid thirties now. Okay. I feel totally different, look totally different. Now I'm not losing as much weight as I would like, but that's, I can tell my body chemistry has changed. So <clears throat> sometimes it's not about what you can say to a person, just tell them your own testimony and they'll, you'll be able to tell by their facial expressions if they believe you or if they don't believe you. Cause if they, if they look like, they're staring into space, then you might as well stop talking. But if they light up, then you know you can keep talking. And sooner or later, I mean, there's people that I personally have been working with for eight months and they're still not ready to pull the trigger. So, but I try to answer their questions every time they ask me, Hey, what about this? Hey, I had a headache. Will this thing help me? Yeah. I had diarrhea the other day. Will this thing help me? Absolutely. Stop beating around the bush and get it because you need this thing. So, Sometimes it's just about talking on your on your behalf because you we've all been using this long enough to understand that it works and we need to get it out there. So, yeah. so my question is, do you guys are you going to send a link out, a Zoom yes. link for the class? Um, you should have already got it. If you didn't, send me an instant message and I'll resend it to you. So, do I send it to you or do I send it to Becky? Uh, you can send it to me. What? Does it match to what? Oh, did you make an appointment? So I have. Be I signed up for that January class. Yeah, all right. Just send me an IM and I'll make sure you get it. I don't. Okay. Okay. All right. No worries. Sometimes, Thank you. Sometimes I misspell things because I'm not the greatest. I'm a fifth grade speller. Okay. It's, um, it just says, this, oh, what is this? My boss said, click on add the calendar and it should take you right to the link. Where does it say click on calendar? All right, let's let's do this not in this meeting. So just send right. me a, a message and we'll get it all figured out. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, we've got just about five minutes left. Anybody else like to share anything before we call the call to an end? Question for Dave. How do you use the Cephi Dots to improve their golf game? Um, if 
I have my eye on bracelet on, and I have my wedding ring that I use from Solex. That's what we call our wedding rings now. Um, I just imprint them right into it, like focus, uh, energy, um, just simple stuff like that. I mean, uh, one of the Bach flowers is really good for that. Even even our flowers are really good for that. Sometimes I'll just imprint one of them. And remember, I, if if I have two pieces, I imprint one thing in it. I, I'm not. Some people like four or five things being imprinted into the same one. I'm not one of them persons. I like one per one thing in here, one thing in that, one thing in my sunglasses. Sometimes I'll get my sunglasses out that I wear. Sometimes I'll put it in my hat. Sometimes I'll put my socks on my thing. It doesn't matter to me. It'll go into anything. I know it. I trust it. I believe in it. So. And we have, I've got, I've got one um, along that line. You guys will get a kick out of this. I have a friend that uh, we play, we bowl um, every now and then. And we bowled enough that I kind of know what his skill level is. And I know what my skill level is normally. So I did a Cephi dot for him using the power playlist. It's one that the company sent us. I don't know, um, but it's a really good one. And so before we went to bowl, I printed, I imprinted a Cephi dot for him and put it on. I was like, let's just see. And the first game, he bowled five strikes. Like that had never, ever happened oh, ever. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not doing any more Cephi dots for you uh, if I'm going to be playing against you. Because <laughs> no kidding. Like we might in a whole game, we might get one strike, maybe two if it's just all the stars are in alignment but five <laughs> strikes in one game i'm like uh-uh nobody it gets five <laughs> nobody wants to play it was really crazy but it was <laughs> yeah it was it was really amazing but it was that power playlist that um the company sent us at some point i can't remember maybe it was for the dod um or something but um but yeah it was a good one and i'm like i'm not doing that anymore <laughs> not for my competitor no way Tammy I see that you put something in the chat about sports enhancement where did yeah, you find have, that I haven't I haven't seen that it's one in anyway. quantum quantum affirmations I believe or quantum oh, reach really? it's, in, it's in one of those I think it's I think it's quantum reach maybe good because I have a 10k to do coming up in a few weeks and I'm having a hard time training for yeah. it. Sports enhancement has worked a lot for people that are into sports, they're competitors. Uh, Beck McQuilty's husband was a, um, he came to the United States. He's some sort of sharpshooter with a pistol. I, I don't know. Anyway, she ran Cephys on him the entire time he was here. And that was one of the frequencies that she says swears by and says that that's what helped him with sports enhancement. All right, guys. Oh, thank you. We are one minute away from the Solex call, our favorite favorite call of the week, other than this. So we're going to call this call to an end. Um, we want to see you back next week, please, and bring your interested people. And it can be anybody. I mean, you can bring them on. We just ask that if you are here and somebody invited you, please reach out to that person that invited you. Go back to them, ask them, you know, whatever questions you may have, or if you're interested in getting a scan or anything like that, please reach out to that person. And we thank you so much for being here. Dr. Sheila, would you like to close with anything? Yes, I would. Thank you again. You guys see how powerful this is, how much we learn from each other. So please encourage your team to come. And people that might be mentioning to you that they have a hard time sharing this technology, maybe they want to build a business, maybe they want to help more people and they just don't feel qualified. Listen to all of these amazing testimonies, easy stuff people are doing to help each other. And we want everybody to be able to do that. So I hope it helps. And thank you so much for joining us. We love you so much. And it was so fun tonight. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Good night. Good night. Appreciate everyone.